Hey peeps, Melly here. So I thought I would go ahead and record this and upload it now. Um, I'm just going to show you my entire WWE clothing collection. Um, am I forgetting anything? No. Okay. So first I'm going to show you what's up in my closet because I usually hang some of my stuff up just so it doesn't wrinkle. So this is my Hulkster shirt, which one of my friends got me a few years ago. So that's pretty cool. And then this is the WrestleMania 33 jersey I picked up in Talese for like under 10 bucks. And sorry, the 23. I was made a 23 jersey. I actually love this. It's huge, but it works because I wear Shannon Mac jerseys, so it's even got the little I'm tempted to get the 30 like the WrestleMania 36 one. I'm tempted. Just because it would be kind of neat to have that memento. And then for my Shino Mac jerseys, I'm going to go in order. So, this is the first one that I have. It's my oldest one. I got this one when I was 18 in 2004-2005. One of my friends sent me this from the States. So, yes, I still have it. And it's in pretty good condition. The only thing that's really wrong with it is that some of the string has frayed. And so it's come undone a little bit. But it's still in pretty, pretty near mint condition. I've washed this thing so many times. I'm surprised the lettering hasn't come off yet. But this is my pride and joy. Like this is one of the, my prized possessions. So that's, and see, that's how you can tell how old it is, because it's got the WrestleMania 20 lo logo on the tag. And I've watched this so many times that the size thing is actually wiped completely off, but I think it was an extra large. And then I have my Shano Mac Survivor Series 2016 jersey. Now, this was in, oh, this was in Toronto, but, uh, hold on. Thank you. Sorry about that. But, uh, this was in Toronto, and I had the opportunity to go, but I couldn't, and I kicked myself for it because, of course, but, uh, I made sure that I got the jersey from it. And I wear this every Survivor Series. This is my go-to Survivor Series wear. And again, it's one of my prized possessions. Anything Shadow Mac is prized in my possession. And then this one is his WrestleMania 33 jersey from when he faced AJ Styles. Again, it's in pretty mint condition because I don't wear it very often, but when I do, I wear it every WrestleMania. Especially if he's in it, or I'll wear it, um, I wore it for his Money in the Bank match, I think, last year. But, uh, yeah. And then this is my Unstable Dean Ambrose t-shirt hoodie, t-shirt sweater. It's like really thin, but it is actually really warm. But I love this because it matches the t-shirt that I have of it. And then while I'm on the topic, I'll just... I actually wore this earlier today while I was waiting for my mini haul to show up. It's my Natalia. I'm going to button this up so I can...
my Natalia chalk line jacket. I picked this up at Foot Locker literally the weekend before everything started shutting down. And as you'll see, I have two t-shirts to match this, so I can now officially wear this. I think this might be my jacket that I wear to wrestling events. But, uh, yeah, so there's that. And then I'll start with the stuff I just got in my mini haul today. So I have... Nikki Bella shirt. Do more, fear less. And her Go Fearless hat. So, there's that. Okay. Now, I may have mentioned that I have two suitcases. This one. And this one. Both full of WWE shirts. So, let's... I know it's going to suck because I have to unfold all these just to fold them all back. But it'll give me a chance to organize them too, so I'm not too worried. Alright, so... Starting with... My Dolph Ziggler shirt. This is going to be really long, so... And then my Sasha Banks shirt. My one of many Dean Ambrose shirts. Move this slightly that way so it's not right in the light. But, uh, yeah. Of course, can't be without the John Cena throwback shirt. I actually wear this one a lot. Another one of my many Dean Ambrose t-shirts. I like this one. I'm glad I picked this up when I did because it went, it came and went pretty quickly. Oh, what do you know? Another Dean Ambrose. <laughs> now, the only one that's missing is my um, Ambrose Stole My Heart shirt. I have no idea where that shirt is, but I wore it when in 2016 when WWE came here and I got a selfie with Dean Ambrose wearing it. And there's a vlog from that day on my YouTube channel that you can find and you can see them clearly wearing it. I haven't found it in a couple years, but this is the one that matches the hoodie. Oh, my In Shamey Tress shirt. I wear, I wear this one a lot. Like during the summer, I wear that one a lot. And then my Paige t-shirt. To be followed up immediately by my other page t-shirt a lot of these are black and I have a cat so I have to be very very careful and this is my fearless Nikki shirt it's my v-neck love that shirt Oh, this is all my fellow shirts, I think. But my Brie Mode shirt with the Bella's, Bella's logo on the side. I wear that one a lot. And then my Hardy Boys, greatest tag team in all space and time.
told you, I have a lot of them. And then this is my other Bella Twins one. It's my Team Bella one. With the Bella Twins logo on the side. That's a lot of t-shirts. Oh my god. And of course, my Budio shirt. Which I have the unicorn thing to match. The light up unicorn horn. To match. And my Daniel Bryan yes, yes, yes shirt. I am kicking myself for not getting the Steph, the Stephanie McMahon version that she came out with, the Steph, Steph, Steph one. If I could find that one somewhere, that would be amazing. Let's see, need it in a size women's medium or men's small or men's medium actually. So that's one side. And this is my SummerSlam shirt from when it was in Toronto that I got off of WWE shop a week or so after. Yeah. And then my I'm a Paul Heyman girl t-shirt. I actually wore this to an indie show here in London where uh, Rhino was and a few other ECW alum were and they all appreciated the fact that I had worn this shirt. So that was kind of cool. My Macho Man shirt. I picked this up from Hot Topic or Spencer's, one of the two. I think I picked it up from Spencer's. Yeah, Spencer's. It's my Macho Man shirt. Of course, anybody that sees this will know. Becky Lynch, the man. I haven't worn this shirt yet. I should really wear it. S hopefully soon. And this is one of my oldest shirts that I've had. I've had this one for years. It's my rated R superstar shirt. I want to get the I want to get a newer version off of WWE Shop because I think this one was just uh, handmade by somebody, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, so that one, my first John Moxley T-shirt. And of course, Eddie Guerrero picked this up from Hot Topic. The same day I picked this one up, which is Survivor Series 1997. And of course, can't be a wrestling fan and not have at least one DX shirt. And then this is one I picked up from Hot Topic. But it matches one that's on WWE Shop, which I also have, which I'll get to in a minute. That reminds me, I gotta grab the ones that I was wearing the past two days. Okay, so ones I've worn the past few days, other than my natty one that you guys all saw earlier. This is my other Stone Cold University one. This is the one I got off of WWE Shop. Whoop Ass 101, and it's got Class of 316 on the sleeve which is awesome now you would think that when the hoodie came out they wouldn't continue that no oh, that's not wrestling related my seth rollins ignite the will track pants i picked up last week My long 
long sleeve shirt that I wear underneath most of my shirts. It's not wrestling related, so. I think this is my Seth Rollins one that matches my track pants. Yep. Seth Rollins. And then this is my, I think this is my Stone Cold. Yep. It's my Stone Cold sweater. I turn them inside out when I take them off because they're so much easier to clean when they're inside out. And then lettering doesn't come off nearly as much. Plus I wash it in cold water, so. But this is the hoodie that matches my Stone Cold shirt. And you would think with the hoodie they wouldn't put the Class 316 on the sleeve, but they did. It's on the sleeve. And of course, to match the back of the shirt, we'll pass 101. And then this is my Seth Rollins sweater. Told you guys, I have a lot of wrestling shirts. <laughs> so, yep, Seth Rollins. All right, so that's one suitcase empty. Told you, I have a lot of shirts. <laughs> now, do I still have my... Yep. And... Okay. So, before I pull out the other shirts, this is my Shane O'Mac hat, which matches the t-shirt that I have that you'll see in a bit. And then, of course, I have my New Day Unicorn horn that changes colors. I love it. So, yeah. Okay. Now this one. Now those were like my skinnier shirts, like the ones that are um, not as... Like, kind of looser and kind of thinner material, but this is where my thicker ones come in. All right. First and foremost. It's my AJ Styles. Untouchable, hard to follow shirt. My Matt Hardy Delete. I got these a long time ago. Woken Warrior. And continuing on the Hardy's theme. They're Reborn by Fate shirt. Because of course you can't be a wrestling fan from the 90s and not have a Hardy Boy shirt. Thankfully I have two. And then another Seth Rollins shirt. I like this shirt. This is one of my favorites. One of my favorite shirts for sure. <laughs> Continuing on the Seth Rollins kick, <laughs> my Kingslayer with the Seth Rollins thing on the side. And it says burn it down. And <laughs> continuing on the trend of Seth Rollins shirts, my burn it down Seth Rollins shirt. This is also one of my favorites. Just because I love the styling of the... And I love the flames coming off the lettering. I love it. And then these are ones I picked up recently. Um, last week. My John Cena Hustle Loyalty Respect. I've always wanted this one. And I got it because it was on sale last week. A bunch of these are my newer ones. So, and, oh, this one. 
I was so happy to get this one. My Screw the Rules, Play the Game Triple H shirt. I love this one. This has always been my favorite Triple H one. Always. Like, I just love how... Like, I love that. Always love that one. And then another Hustle Loyalty Respect, but this is the Chain Gang one down since day one. I've been a Cena fan from day one, so I figured it was fitting to have this shirt. It says Chain Gang Soldier. Told you guys, I have a lot of shirts. Then this is the one that I ordered accidentally twice, so I'll be getting another one of this in a couple days. It's the I am the game because I am that damn good one. This would probably be my second favorite Triple H one. And then I got this one last week too. And I figured since he was supposed to go in the Hall of Fame this year, I figured I'd have a Batista shirt because I didn't have one yet. So, yeah. Told you, I have a lot. And then this is my new Edge shirt. I saw the style of it, so I had to get it. I love it. I was debating getting the matching uh, hat, but I decided not to. Alright, and then this one. My Daniel Bryan Smackdown General Manager shirt. Smackdown Live. The good old days. And then my other AJ Styles one. The house that AJ Styles built. I like this one. And the Shane O'Mac shirt that matches my hat. <laughs> Alright, now we get into... Some of my older ones. There's a few newer ones still to come here, but of course I got this one and I ordered the hat just recently, so I'll have the hat soon to match it. So I love this one. It's my favorite, probably one of my favorite John Cena ones. And I bought this last year sometime. And of course, my other natty one to match my light pink one that I was wearing earlier. My men's one. Can't really tell, but that is pink. It's just a different shade. And it matches my Natalia jacket, so I'm good with that. And then I got this one. 316 day, because March 16th. So I'll have that one for next year. And then my other John Moxley one. And then, this one I picked up in Niagara Falls last summer. I wanted this one forever and I found it in a store in uh, Niagara Falls, so I picked it up. It's the Danger I'm Awesome You're Not Miz shirt. And it says, Be Miz. I'll hold it there for a few seconds so you guys can pause it. Here we go. We're almost done. <laughs> of course, I had to get this one because it's one of my favorite Austin shirts. If not my favorite Austin shirt of all time. 2001, anyone? <laughs> no, I just love the flames coming out of it. I also ordered another uh, Stone Cold shirt, so that'll be coming soon. And then my Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon Authority t-shirt that I picked up a year or so ago. Oh my god. <laughs> We're almost done. And as I said, my Bella Illusion shirt. See, I was going to get the one that just says Bella Army, but I already have Bella Army on this one, so it's not worth it. 
Um, of course, I picked this one up from WWE Shop as well. It's the Kofi Kingston Championship one for when he won at WrestleMania. Almost done! I know I keep saying that. And then, oh, I'm gonna wear this one soon considering both of them got released. Oh, I bought this like a couple weeks ago, like a month ago. Oh, I'm gonna wear this one soon in their honor. And then I have this one, which is my Sonya Deville, though I do not think that she's doing right by Mandy with the current Otis situation, but I love this shirt back when I had long hair. Um, and plus it's pride colors, so I love that. So it's my Sonya Deville shirt. And then, almost done, literally almost done. My New Day shirt. <sighs> and last but not least, actually I'm gonna show you my other Natty shirt for those that didn't see it. My Bada Boom. Now I actually wore this to, um, was it London or Forest City? I think it was London Comic Con or Forest City. And Enzo was there, and he saw me in this, and he gave me, like, a huge hug, so it's awesome. I always like this shirt, just, just the style of it. I've always liked it. So there's that. Now, where did I stick my nappy? Then this one I was wearing earlier. I was wearing earlier. It's just my other natty shirt. I think once my hair gets longer, maybe I'll get the cat ears. But yeah, that's it's essentially the same as my other pink one. Just a lighter shade because it's a woman's one. So yeah, that is my entire WWE shirt collection. <laughs> that is a lot of shirts. Like, that is seriously a lot of shirts. <laughs> so, anyways. That is my entire WWE sh clothing collection. Um, I'm going to do another one with my toys later. Once I get all my titles, I'll do, like, a title toy uh, mass one. But, yeah. So, I'm going to work on getting these all back in here now. Into their suitcases and... So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, please feel free to leave comments or reach out to me on social media. Um, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Pretty much you name it. <laughs> Just search my username and uh, or the name of my YouTube channel, which is Malishi. And you'll pretty much find me on pretty much any social media. So, yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys have a good day. Be safe. Stay inside unless you need to go out and go to work. And uh, yeah, so bye guys.